Hello and welcome to Euphoria. Today I'm going to be building the third level of my current mock, which is this old astronomical clock tower. This part will finish off the build for this mock. In part two of the build we did the second floor of this building and we put in these steps which are meant to be kind of narrow wooden steps that come up into what will be the top floor of the building. So we have to build the top floor on top of this level. Now as you can see this level of the building actually kind of sticks out a bit and is wider than the ground floor footprint of the building. So that means that the plate that I'm going to make as the floor of the third level needs to be slightly bigger than the one that I made for the level below. But it needs to fit on top of the plates and tiles that are at the top of this upper level of the building. So I'll start by building the floor plate for this third floor or third level of the building in a similar way to the one that I made for the level below and it will need to have a hole in it as well for the stairs to come up through to give access to the top level. So here I've got all the remaining parts for this build in these trays. Obviously the amount of parts remaining is going down now because I've completed two levels of this build. So I'm hoping that if my design is correct and my procurement is correct, I've got all the parts here that I need now to complete this build. So let's make a start on the final level for the build of this mock. Now there's lots of ways of designing these floor plates and originally I tried to use as few plates as possible and that meant using larger plates but I found that sometimes the larger plates are very expensive or not available in specific colours and it's often easier and cheaper to make a combination of smaller plates and tie them together with usually two by something plates on the underneath and that way when you actually get them all together and especially when you start building the walls on the top they actually bind together really strongly and you end up with a good strong floor plate to build the next level of the building on. So that's the floor plate completed this hole is a feature of the astronomical clock mechanism and obviously this hole is for the stairway to come up from the floor below. So with a bit of luck this will fit directly on top of the floor that goes below. So let's try that. So indeed it does fit, the stairs come up correctly through this hole here and all the other parts of the floor plate fit directly onto the floor below including these overhangs at the side and the tower fits on ready for me to build the next level of the walls. So let's do that now. So now I've done the floor plate, I can start adding some of the interior details and start building up the walls for this level of the mock. These are fairly straightforward, but the walls themselves on this level are not actually very tall. So now I can complete the clock mechanism for the upper clock. This derives partly from the 
clock at the top of the Harry Potter clock tower that is also partly my own invention and has been extended with its own mechanism behind the clock face and a weight which goes round a kind of drum to act as the driving mechanism for the clock. Here I'm furnishing the top room with some items of furniture. These are fairly random pieces, but they're items that were available from one of the Harry Potter sets. And they just provide some furniture for the guy who's going to maintain the clock at the top of the tower. And in the corner of the tower, as part of the exhibition about astronomy, goes this astrolabe. So now I've completed all the gables and the support for the cross gable roof, including this support in the middle of the building and these two pillars and the arches on either side, uh, and the supports around the edge of the walls. Then I'm finally ready to add the roof onto this mock. So the roof design for this mock is based largely on the one from the Harry Potter clock tower set and this is a similar design with sloping roofs made out of plates. So before I can mount the roof I need to make these mounting brackets out of a combination of plates, brackets and slopes and those will mount onto the beam that runs front to back from which the side facing roof panels hang down. So now I can fit the roof. The roof is made up of these panels, different uh, shapes and sizes to fit on the different parts of the roof. And these panels are made up of plates with clips so that they can clip on and some angled plates as well. And they clip onto the top of the walls here and the support brackets that I put onto the ridge of the roof earlier. So these panels form the cross gable roof pretty well and despite there being two different slopes in the gables and therefore the angles of the roof they fit together pretty well in the corners there aren't really much there isn't much in the way of gaps I've built these panels in pretty much the same way as they were done in the Harry Potter clock tower set but I've had to make some adjustments and additions to make them fit this design and I think that's worked pretty well I can still lift these roof panels so that I can get to the inside of the building and put minifigures in if you want to these ones fold out vertically as well so that you can see the inside of the building. So now having fitted the roof panels I can complete building the tower and fit the conical shaped roof onto the tower as well. Now I can finish off the top of the walls 
with these roof slates which go around all the steps of the stepped gables and then I can finish the roof off with the finials and then finally I can put the top floor of the building onto the other two floors to complete the assembly of my mock. So that's the assembly of this mock completed, apart from perhaps putting some minifigures in the building to bring it alive. So let's do that now. We'll have this guy at the ticket counter on the way in on the ground floor. I think I'm going to use this guy rather than putting him inside as the tour guide. I'm going to have him, I think, standing by the front door to act as a kind of welcoming character into the museum. I might have a parent and child just arriving at the museum here. And then we need to have this tourist with his camera. It might be the dad of the same family. Very keen on taking a photo of the front of the astronomical clock, which goes on the front of the building. So there you go. So that completes the build of this mock. I'm very pleased with this mock because I was able to build it according to the design and it's turned out just how I envisaged it when I was developing the concept for the mock. In the next and final part of this series I'll be reviewing this mock and placing it in the town square of my Lego city, where it will be a major historical landmark and tourist attraction. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please let YouTube know that you liked this video by hitting the like button. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about Lego modular buildings.